Afternoon everyone, welcome to DTB TV. This is my post match ratings for obviously a fantastic 3 1 win yesterday against Crystal Palace. So, yeah, as you can imagine, we're all really happy with, with what was a great performance considering the players that we have missing. Uh, and I'm just going to go through each player and we'll just uh, assess how we think they did and what DTB would give them as a player's rating. So, starting with Alisson in goal. Well, as you can imagine, Ali was absolutely outstanding and the man of the match uh, on all other fan pages and also, also on Sky Sports as well by Jamie Carragher. So, absolutely outstanding saves. Uh, he definitely, definitely kept us in the game. Had it not been for Alisson, I don't think we would have won yesterday. So, that gives you the measure of the reason why he's not just my man of the match at DTB TV, but also everybody uh, involved with Liverpool Football Club. There wasn't a better player on the pitch than Ali. Robertson at left back, as always, committed really, really on the ball with, in terms of his p possession, his, his, his uh, energy up and down the left flank. Absolutely outstanding performance again. Sorry, I didn't give uh, Alisson a number. Nine. Nine out of ten for Alisson. Uh, Robbo, I'll give him a seven. He wasn't at his... You know, absolute best, but still absolutely fantastic in terms of what he gives us down the left side. Centre-back, Virgil van Dijk. I thought he was back to his best. Uh, a big colossus. And obviously, he took his goal absolutely superbly well with that great header. So, eight for Virgil van Dijk. So, seven for Robertson. Nine for Alisson. Eight for Virg. Matip. He's been poor the last couple of games, in my opinion. He's not been the best. I was surprised because with my team lineup, I actually went for Canate to partner Van Dyke, and obviously a little bit of loyalty with uh, them two is, is what Klopp's gone for. And we won the game, so you can't really argue with Klopp. But yeah, Matip wasn't great again. Six for Matip. I love Matip, by the way. It's just I'm just going to give these ratings on an honest from what I've seen. Trent at right back again. He's always brilliant at the moment. He's just a fantastic football player and he's just great to watch. Uh, nothing really sticks out too much. He put a couple of good crosses in that didn't turn out to be goals but could have been any other day of the week. So I'm going to give Ali, uh, sorry, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold a 7. So, so far we've got Alisson 9, Robertson uh, 7, Van Dijk 8, Matip 6 and Trent 7. The midfield three, Hendo, as always, puts a shift in, gets about the pitch. Unlucky with a chance which was by the post. Uh, seven for Hendo, I thought he was good yesterday. Fabinho, midfield, just he's just an amazing defensive midfielder. Always there, always snapping his foot in, always starting off attacks and took the penalty well. 7.5 for Fabinho. Curtis Jones, you know, when he plays, he plays well. He's always good on the ball. I actually would have swapped him on the hour for James Milner. So that, that actually happened later on, but Milner came on for... I can't remember who it was now. Uh, but anyway, he, he, he had a great game, uh, and I'm going to give him a 7 as well. So the midfield three, seven, seven point five, seven. 7. Front three, Oxley chamberlain fantastic. Getting better by each game, getting better with more minutes played. Uh, I'd give him a 7.5 as well. Uh, Bobby... He's not really playing well at the moment. He isn't the Bobby that we know well. I don't know whether he's got a bit of interest in him at the moment in January. I don't, I've heard there is. And whether that's just made him turn off a little bit. But Bobby would be back to his best soon. I've got no doubt about that. I'm going to give him a 7. Yeah, just just a 7. Right, Diego Jota gets himself about the pitch as always. Always uh, going to be a goal threat. You know, the penalty, a lot of people say it wasn't a penalty. Yeah, it could have gone either way. But in my opinion, uh, like like my friend Sean said, we were given one against Burnley, against us, very similar. And at the end of the day, people could say, well, he might not have got, got to the ball. But you don't know that because he was given a little push as well. It looked like he wasn't going to get the ball. But to me, if the goalkeeper comes out, doesn't touch the ball and takes out a player then it's a penalty. Now, if that had happened in the central centre of midfield, I think it would have been a free kick. So if it's a free kick in the centre of midfield, it's a penalty in the box. Harsh, I know, but I would have given it. So that's that's my team ratings. Ali, nine, man of the match. Robertson, seven. 
uh, uh, Van Dyke eight, six for Matip, seven for Trent, seven for Henderson, seven point five for Binho, seven for Curtis Jones, uh, seven point five for Oxley Chamberlain, seven just for Firmino, and for Diego Jota, I'm going to give him a seven point five because he got about the pitch well. So anyway, great win, 3-1 yesterday. We're going to be breaking now for two weeks, but that doesn't mean we will stop on D2B TV. I'm going to keep bringing you uh, videos uh, about the Anfield development every week. We're going to be doing a new one of them this week. And also, I'm going to be doing a quiz uh, where I'll go live, where you can't comment on the live. I'll turn comments off on it with the questions, 20 Liverpool questions, and then I'll go live again. And we'll do that this Friday night. I'll go live again uh with the answers say nine o'clock so I'll, I'll give you 20 questions at 7 p.m and the answers at 9 p.m how does that sound let me know if you thought on the quiz and i'll see you all soon with loads of videos the under 23 is a